Hello, welcome to Vinum Popoli. I'm Miguel Garza. This is Brigida. And we have yet another white wine for you to venture into since uh, this is not your favorite world. I'm learning. You are learning, but go ahead and take a little sniff. What we have here, this is actually out of uh, Northern Italy. And this is the Tiefenbrunner Feldmarschall Muller Thurgau. So the actual varietal is uh, Muller Thurgau. And you can notice uh, the, it looks more a little German style um, or Alsace. In, in the type of bottle and everything. And there's, in, in Northern Italy uh, and Switzerland, Germany, all that kind of area, there's a lot of blend between that German culture. I mean, Italy itself didn't become a unified country till 1861. So for years, there were different parts of that Northern area were part of France or part of Germany or part of Switzerland and whatnot. So um, it's an interesting blend of cultures and food and winemaking up there. Right, so back to the bottle, it's a little bit more narrow right here than the reds? Or... It is a little bit more narrow than the reds. Um, and the reason being, this is uh, stainless steel fermented. And there's, when you make white wines, the, the thing about white wines is that you don't normally put them in contact with the skin or, what, or the must of the grapes. Um, so red wines you do. That's where they get the color and everything from the skin of a grape. And what they do is it's a red grape, but they don't put it in contact with the skin. So it doesn't get the color and then it comes out as a white grape and it doesn't have um, the sediment and everything. So with say a red wine bottle that has one of those, um, like this one, you can notice there's a shoulder right. on the bottle. What does the shoulder do? Uh, when you're pouring a wine like this, you'll pour it slowly, and as the sediment comes, you'll pour slowly, and it'll settle in here and catch so it won't go oh, into the glass. Sorry. This doesn't have any of that sediment because it's not in contact um, with the skin, so you, there's no need to really have that type of bottle. All right? So if you want to take a little um, smell on this and a sip, Yeah, this is a little too sweet for me. A little too sweet? Is it sweet? I, it has a little bit of sweetness to it. I wouldn't say it's sweet. I'm just not a fan of white, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. I can't get past it. Um, there's some good citrus on this, and it's Mulder Thurgau is actually a blend. So it has a, it's almost some interesting reason type Gewurztraminer characteristics to it, but it has um, some of the good acidity as well. Um, you can smell a little spice, some citrus. Definitely citrus. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the spice. I haven't caught on to that yet. You <laughs> haven't caught on to that yet. We'll try one more little sip. And if you don't like it, it's OK. We'll uh, move on to something else. But this um, Muller Thurgau is really grown mostly in Germany and in northern Italy. And uh, this actually happens to be a very rare um, bottle, so it's normally allocated, so it's kind of hard to find, but very well balanced, very well structured for a Muller Thurgau, which tends to be a lighter type of, of wine in, on the most part. Cheers. Cheers.